All right, I just want to make one thing clear. I generally don't do sponsored videos at all. Or the only time I will is if something really intrigues me because it's something that I want, something that I think my viewers might want, or something that people like me will get value out of. This is an ultra light pod camper. And I must admit, I have been shopping for one. And uh, the guys at Pod Camper Hire lent it to me this weekend. And I'm gonna give you my opinion of uh, what I think of it. If you're thinking about buying a camper trailer, probably, you know, something of this level, full off-road, can go anywhere, uh, light as, and has everything that you could think of, you probably want to be going away 80 to 100 times to get your return on investment. The other option is to hire something, something like this. This has got a rooftop tent, 1800mm uh, wide, I think it's 21 long, uh, you could fit two adults, well, easy, probably two adults and a kid, or <laughs> two squeezy adults and two kids, but this is another way to go, if you're not going to do this all the time. Ashy, how good yeah. is this for you? Good. <laughs> it is pretty good, eh? Mm. You got all the grapes. Uh, yeah. And then trees and then... The guys at Pod Camper Hire have put everything that you need in here except food and sleeping gear and then you can go. I'm serious, I thought of everything. Solar blankets, chairs, tables, there's a 60 litre water tank built in, Jerry's on the side. There's different models you can hire. I went for the full extreme with independent suspension. Uh, massive fridge, freezer, Weber's included, pantry box, uh, extra boxes, cutlery, you name it. You can even ask them if you want for like extra cutlery sleeping gear if you want the family package. The front of it is filled with all the other stuff that you'll need. Um, they're, is gas bottles, jet boils, first aid kits. They've pretty much thought of everything. I can't think of anything else that I would actually need to put in there. The part of the video so far has talked about hiring one of these. And, you know, I've already worked out that's a good idea. But for someone like me who actually goes away quite often, I'm actually thinking about buying one of these things too. Uh, so, I'm, personally, I need a work trailer for during the week. I can gut everything out of there, take it all out, use it for a work trailer during the week, and then on the weekend have uh, the rooftop tent, uh, the max tracks or treads or whatever else put in there, and I can just basically throw my tubs, gear in the back, and go. Although this is supposed to be somewhat of a sponsored hiring video. But I think I might buy one. The reason is they're like ultra light. You can, and they're not that dear to be honest. If you, well, in comparison to other camper trailers, if you go get the like the, the road model uh, with a, a proper axle, all that sort of stuff, um, they're actually pretty cheap. I think I'm leaning towards the full off-road independent with water tanks, the, um, the box on the front. Basically with the works, I'll fit it out with my own batteries and all that sort of gear. But this could totally be a solution for uh, work Monday to Friday, Hitch up Friday night, throw the tubs in, and get out of here. The challenge is making it as good as these guys have done it. So they've kind of thought it of everything. Got like a ample bench space, massive fridge freezer, 120 amp battery, 6 litre underwater tank. There's kind of everything here already. Even for quick road stops, you can like cook up lunch, very happily the deal is 
you basically pay for the three day hire. They, well, in South Australia anyway, if you're 20 Ks from, I don't know, Clearview, they drop the thing off to you, they hitch it up, you do your camp, come back, they come and pick it up from you, and all you do is like, you know, fill the tunnel box, fill all your other rubbish and garbage and stuff in there, and um, go. It's really, really easy. All right, what sort of vehicle do you need to tow one of these things? Well, pretty much anything, to be honest. At worst, the ball weight is 60 kilos. They've got some other ones which are lighter, and uh, this particular one is braked, but you don't have to have a braked one. There's smaller ones or lighter ones, which you can go with just about, you know, you could have a Suzuki Swift and almost tow this. Anyway, I've kind of jumped on board with these guys because I'm totally, I've had the, I've been playing with it for probably 24 hours, and I was um, uh, curious, that went into excited, that went into like, I really like this thing. So uh, whether you're gonna hire it or I'm contemplating buying one, I'm digging it. Um, go check them out. Uh, Pod Camper Hire, Facebook, Gumtree is probably the places to go. There's a website coming any moment and um, you can go and check this cool camper out and hire it for yourself.